What's up guys? Welcome back to Homegrown. In this episode, I'm gonna give you a quick primer on how you can protect your plants from pests and pathogens. I'll show you how I give them a quick foliar spray so that they're getting fed uh, another way besides just watering them. And then I'll show you how I like to stake them up and get them ready to support the weight that they're gonna put on during flower over the next few weeks. So every garden should be prepared for pests and pathogens. The same climate that these plants thrive in also invites a lot of bugs, mildews, molds into the microclimate that you've created in your garden. Always do a quick check both sides, the tops and bottoms of your leaves. You might notice little bugs crawling around. You don't want to see those. You might notice um, some yellow spotting. If you do, that's probably a sign of spider mites. And typically, if you see the yellow spots, it's already too late. Another reason why you really want to perform preventative maintenance on your plants instead of retroactively trying to battle these pests because once they're there, they're a lot harder to eradicate. While you're checking your leaves, you can also check for little white spots. That's an early manifestation of powdery mildew or mold. Um, eventually those spots get into the actual powder-like substance that the mold grows and it can just destroy a whole harvest. So always, always check all over, up and down, give a good thorough look. The main takeaway is that you wanna perform preventative maintenance to protect yourself against pests and pathogens. Think of it like a sunburn. You apply your sunscreen on before you go out in the sun and it protects you. And that's what you wanna do with your plants to avoid any type of infestation. So the best defense against these pests and pathogens is actually just keeping your plant healthy. It will fight off a lot of these on its own as long as it's got a good immune system built up. I personally always like to do just a little bit more by adding a preventative foliar spray, something like this Exile, which is an insecticide and fungicide, and it'll help you really keep some of those problems at bay. Foliar sprays are also a good way of just keeping your plant healthy overall. Something like this Cplex is really simple, easy to use and gentle on the plant. It's a seaweed mixture that just enhances the growth, and I tend to spray it on the plants about every week. So just a simple spray all over about once a week it's really all you need all right so now this plant is ready for flower and remember it's going to grow half again as tall i don't really have a space issue here in the greenhouse so i'm just going to stake it up let it grow tall and support its weight but if you're growing indoors or somewhere where height is an issue i recommend topping it about here and that'll really help promote a nice even canopy and prevent you from stretching too much Cool, so now we've got our plant supported, ready for the weight it's gonna put on during flower. In the next episode of Homegrown, I'll show you a few tips and tricks we can use to maximize our yield and flavors. And until then, smoke one for me.